Well, hello, it's Mr. Adams here. I'm doing a quick run through of showing you the new classroom over at Longfellow. Um, I got to move some of my stuff in um, yesterday. And so I'm gonna do a quick tour to show you everything that's happened, everything that's changed, um, and how excited I am about um, all the storage that I have. Very exciting. So uh, there's our whiteboard. Uh, I am getting prepared for the next week's lessons. You can kind of see that. We've got our big instruments over there in the corner. And then look at all that space down there. Oh my goodness gracious. We've got our xylophones on their own shelf, or ukuleles have their own shelf. Our really big windows that we have um, in the classroom. And all of these shelves, yeah. Yeah, no, I've got some kind of junk sitting there. But And then we, I don't know what I'm going to do with those big um, Contra bass bars quite yet. And then I've still got some storage. That used to be the closet back there. You see where that little... Um, bump in the wall is that's where the closet was uh, I've got my desk over here and then oh I have my own little drinking fountain I have my own sink uh, I've got more storage up here there's nothing up there yet uh, more storage more storage more storage uh, some stuff up here oh look just yeah very little um, and then my materials for lessons and then I even got a little coat rack where I can put more stuff um, Got some of my curriculum up here, but not very much of it yet. And that's my trash pile. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of boxes. And then more storage. Yeah, looks really nice. Um, I'm really excited. Uh, thank you uh, for all the um, well wishes on this last year and the last two years that we've been over at Morton, the support that we've gotten from parents and um, all the votes that we got, I don't know, seven, eight years ago to make sure that this project could happen, so thank you very much. I am Mr. Adams, and this is week five of lessons, and it's coming to you from Longfellow, the real one that's been fixed up. I hope you enjoyed the beginning of the video and you got to see a little bit of the room. It's not perfect yet. I know not everything's over here yet, but um, this is going to be for fourth and fifth grade, and our goal today is to be able to play all four parts of Chipper Chopper Joe. So when we played it on our instruments, um, in the third quarter, some of what we did was you had to play on your part. Well, you're going to need all four parts. So you're going to need four different sounds for each different part. You should be able to do it. It's going to be tricky, but you should be able to. And then also, um, it's not a goal, but we're also going to be doing some um, music writing and listening to uh, somebody who did a pattern that was very, very different than our GarageBand project. It's not, it was not ABABCB. It was A A A A B A B A B B B B. I, I think. Yeah, we'll check it out in a second. Um, first, let's do a quick review of Chip Chop. It goes like this: Chip Chop, Chip Chop, Chipper Chopper Joe. Chip Chop, Chip Chop, Chipper Chopper Joe. One big go, ouch my toe. Chipper Chopper Joe chops wood just so. So when we do all parts, it's really not too bad, but when we start adding instruments, it, it's going to get tricky. So what you're going to do is you're going to choose one of your instruments to be your yellow part. Okay, It happens at the very, very beginning. Now I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to use my hand drum because I have one. So you'll play the rhythm of the song only on the yellow part. Chip, chop, chip, chop, chipper, chopper, Joe. Chip, chop, chip, chop, chipper, chopper, Joe. One big bow, ouch, my toe. Chipper, chopper, Joe, chops wood just so. So hopefully you only played the yellow. Okay, now, we're not going to go straight into yellow and green. We're going to go into yellow and gray. One big bow. I've got my triangle up here. because I don't have four hands to hold on to all these. This is gonna be really tricky for me. You could set them on the floor and maybe use a, something as a mallet to play each part. That doesn't work for me because I, I, it just doesn't. Okay, so yellow and gray. Chip, chop, chip, chop, chop, chipper, chopper, Joe. Chip, chop, chip, chop, chipper, chopper, Joe. One big ball out my toe. Chipper Chopper Joe chops wood just so. Now remember, there's two gray parts. One big blow chops wood. 
Okay, um, let's do yellow, green, and gray. Um, all right, I'm going to do my cowbell on green. All right, let's try yellow, green, and gray. You should have your three instruments ready to go. All right, here we go. Chip, 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 chipper, chopper, Joe. Chip, 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 chipper, chopper, Joe. Gray, one big toe, ouch, my toe. Green, chipper, chopper, Joe, chop wood, just so. My triangle's still making noise. All right, now we need our fourth instrument. Um, maraca. Um, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> One, two, here we go. Chip, chop, chip, chop, chipper, chopper, Joe. Chip, chop, chip, chop, chipper, chopper, Joe. One big go. Out, my toe. Chipper, chopper, Joe. Chop, foot, just go. And? Are you able to do all four parts? Um, I kind of did. You can rate me on what you think of how that went. All right, the B part, the second part, it goes right floor, left floor, out, out, knees, knees. Now, on the out, out, if you uh, want to do the out, out with your third and fourth sound, I didn't know if you had three or, uh, three or four different drums or not, but it might be helpful to have that. If you don't, you can just use the floor on the out instead. You can just go all the way out to the side around the outside of your instrument. So it goes right floor or your right instrument, right, left, out, out, knees, knees, right, left, out, out, knees, again, right, left, out, knees, knees, and then tap for six counts. So you could tap, you if you have two sticks, two mallets, two spoons, whatever, it goes one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's try that red uh, B part only goes right, four, left, four, out, out, knees, knees, right, four, left, four, out, out, knees, knees, right, four, left, four, out, knees, knees, tap, two, three, four, Five, six. Now that is all of the, the B. So let's just try the B part. Patterns that we've learned in class are some of those interesting ones right here. We also have another app that if you don't have an Apple product and you can't download GarageBand, it's called Incredibox. It's got some apps you could choose to download or you can just use their browser and go to their website. And these are the apps that we use to write songs. I hope that you enjoyed uh, week five of our projects. Whew. I will link all of our music down below, as well as the websites and apps if you want to write some of your own music.